Hi, I'm Ron Polk, designer of the Polk Workbench. A couple of months ago, I uploaded a video tour of my mobile wood shop. I'm Ron, and today I'm going to give you a tour of my mobile wood shop. The mobile wood shop is great, but I still need a portable wood shop. I still need to be able to set up a full-size work area if I have my workbench. So after the YouTube video went live, I started getting email requests for a set of buildable plans, much like the mobile uh, workbench and the um, miter stand and the crosscut jig. I declined to do that. I felt that it would be a lot of work, hard to justify um, a reasonable cost for it, and also that there's so many sizes and shapes of trailers and trucks, and also some people may want to use this model to build a shop inside of their garage. So what I did was uh, create an as-built model, a detailed model of my mobile wood shop, and I uploaded it to the Google warehouse. So if you have SketchUp, all you need to do is um, open up SketchUp and go to Get Model and search for Polk Mobile Wood Shop. And for those of you who don't have SketchUp, if you're a carpenter or a contractor, you really should. It's a, it's a fantastic tool and the basic version is free. And the way you do that is just launch your browser. If you're on a Mac, it'll launch it in your native Safari browser. If you're on a PC, it'll launch it in Explorer. And so just go up and do a search for Google SketchUp, go to the main page, go to their download section, and your first option is the free version. Uh, you'll just download that and follow the instructions on uh, installing it. It's a pretty simple process. Also take note while we're here, the training, uh, there's video tutorials and self-paced tutorials. Great way to learn the basics and even some advanced features of SketchUp. And also if you jump over to YouTube, and you search for SketchUp, you'll find that many people have uploaded video tutorials on every facet of SketchUp that you could imagine. It's a great way to learn it. So if you run into a little problem, just try to figure out what your problem is and search for Google SketchUp and look for it or search for SketchUp and whatever your issue is, groups or, or components or whatever, and you'll find videos on those. While we're here, Another um, little side note, if you uh, search for Paul Combs, the first uh, non-ad that comes up will be my channel. I get a, a fair amount of emails uh, talking, to, you know, talking about my videos, making comments, and I notice that a lot of people don't know that I have other videos. They'll find one video and then not be linked into the others. So if you, if you search for Paul Combs, you'll have it. All the videos that I've posted and all the videos I'll post in the future will be easy to find there. And a good way to stay up to date is to subscribe to the channel, to the Paul Combs channel, and then you'll know when I've uploaded a new video. So back to SketchUp. So after you've downloaded SketchUp and gone through the install process, you'll start with a new file. And it'll look something like this and we'll delete this uh, model here, we don't need it. And it has no uh, title, so you'll want to save it. And you'll just pick where you want to save it and give it a name. And you'll notice the name changes at the top. So now you know you have a saved file, so all the work you do will be saved. The next thing you'll want to do is uh, click on this uh, button here, Get Model. It'll take you right into the 3D warehouse. If you are using a Mac, it's using Safari, and there's a glitch right now where you cannot see what you type, um, but so you'll have to type blind. And that should take you to my model. If you go to click on the top there, it'll take you to the download, and there's also a link to, uh, to YouTube where the, where the video is. You'll download the model, It'll ask you if you want to download it into this current file, and you'll say OK. So just uh, bring it into your model and just click, and that'll drop it. And if it's highlighted in blue like this, that means that, um, that it's selected right now. I'm going to hit the O key for Orbit. This just moves your camera view. And just a bit of housekeeping to make it uh, easy to use. I'll want to drop it in this corner after I make a copy of it. So. First thing we'll do is um, hit the M key again, and that'll give you this four-way arrow, or you can click this button there on your tool palette. And I'm just gonna take the model, and I'm gonna click on it, I'm gonna move it, and what I'm gonna do is 
hold down the shift key and that's going to keep it in the green direction no matter where I put my move tool locks it in green I'm going to tap the option key on a Mac or the alt key on a PC that adds a plus sign to your arrows and now you're making a copy I'll move it over a bit click once let go of the shift key and then over here in the lower right hand corner you'll notice in the text box it says 14 feet I'm just going to type in 40 feet to give plenty of room now that's done I'm going to click on the model we're going to work on and you'll notice in the layers uh, all these layers will come in with the model the check boxes indicate what's visible we don't need to see the truck box we don't need to see the text and we don't need to see the roof and so the next thing I want to do is just get it down on the red green plane here so that uh, everything will be working off of that surface so I'll take the move tool I'll click right in this corner here and I'm, I'm using my scroll wheel to move in and out so I'm clicking right there that's what I want to put in this corner now I'm scrolling out and I'm just going to drop it right there and it'll lock right in and now what I'll do is with the uh, arrow key which you get by tapping the space bar or the black arrow in the top of your tool palette left click on it to highlight it right click on it will make it unique and that just disconnects it from the original model so you won't be changing that one and then I'm going to right click again and explode and you'll notice the group box is gone and now you have the group of each one of these in here is a group and then you'll break into those to edit those so what I would do next is uh, quickly just draw the inside dimensions of your truck or your trailer or your shop if you grab the R if you tap the R key or hit this little rectangle just come down here on the green plane and just draw diagonally it doesn't matter what you do just pull it out a bit click on it and that'll create a surface and then what you want to do is size it before you do anything else in the lower right hand corner just type in in this case I'm gonna make it um, 15 feet comma seven feet so that's the interior dimensions seven feet by 15 feet and then you'll want to uh, double click and that will highlight all of the um, geometry right click and make it a group and now it's locked up and so you could start now uh, just moving these cabinets you can make copies of them uh, you can lay it out completely different than mine again these are building blocks for you to put together your trailer or your truck or your shop in the, the best way to work for you well I hope this SketchUp model will help uh, some of you guys become more efficient more profitable and uh, help you enjoy your work thanks a lot for watching